What will it take to get people working, shopping and eating in downtown Denver again? That's certainly the question the city leaders are asking, and they're hoping that investing in small businesses, local businesses will do the trick. The pop up Denver program is now accepting applications for its second round of business installations downtown and those chosen will get six months of free rent on the 16th Street Mall and money to develop a storefront. But the of the five pop up shops that have been selected in the pilot last year, three have already closed. Number seven's Rob Harris asks what will be different this time to keep businesses open for longer. For more than four months now, the normal sights and sounds of downtown hustle and bustle off 16th Street in California have been joined by this. So we are looking at a storyline called The Adventures of Captain Eon. It's always fun to see people's reaction to it. It's a definite conversation piece. It's called Image and Movement. It's an art installation that was selected in round one of the Pop Up Denver program. Unlike the other small businesses selected, IEM was created to be a free experience for passers by. We wanted to present that as something that was for all ages and all races, that was inclusive. IEM was one of five pop ups selected last year to set up shop along 16th Street. Only two are still there, but a new crop will be chosen out of applications being accepted now by the Downtown Denver Partnership. We're already getting lots of interest. It's been very exciting. The DDP says it's learned some key lessons from round one. First, some great entrepreneurs might not be quite ready for their own storefront, so they can instead have their products featured in other stores already up and running. Those that are selected for a storefront will have prior experience with a brick and mortar store, and they'll get extra training before opening day. We'll be going through city permitting processes, sign code uh, considerations, things they may not have experienced in their other downtowns that they're operating in, but we'll also run them through a safety and security assessment and even provide funding to do mitigations, crime prevention, through environmental design. Safety downtown's a main concern that's come up in our interviews with business owners and residents. DDP and the city of Denver partnered with 40 organizations for a renewed push for safety in November of last year, and they say positive results are being seen. But more police and mental health responders are only pieces of the puzzle. The producers at IEM say pop-ups like theirs have a key role to play too. It cleans up the sides of the streets because now people have respect for what the city represents. And we did it with our installation. So as soon as the music started playing yeah. and the videos went up and the art went up, just showing that we respect our space, others will tend to respect it. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. And looking closer, people are bouncing back to downtown Denver after the pandemic, but new numbers still show some signs of struggle. The downtown Denver partnership says weekend sales are at 95% of 2019 levels, while restaurant reservations have actually surpassed those numbers. However, weekdays are only at 54% of 2019 levels. The DDP attributes this decline to an absence of downtown workers who are now opting to work from home.